Hello everyone, welcome to GoTerran TV. I'm Dr. T, PhD, the prodigy of sports psychology, and I'm out here in the greater Atlanta area enjoying the great weather that we're having right here in Georgia today. And so I thought I'd bring on my two favorite people right here on GoTerran TV momentarily, and I'll tell you who they are in just a second, but please make sure that you like this video, leave us a comment, and share it with all of your friends and family out there. Now, as I mentioned, my two best friends are coming right here on today's show, and we'll start with ladies first, representing Elsie Trawick Wellness. We have Elsie Trawick and also representing Fit Peru, the movement specialist, Mr. Freddy Gonzalez himself. So that's right, Elsie and Freddy right here on today's video blog just momentarily. And they're gonna be helping us how to quote, prepare for the holidays. This is gonna be a very interesting episode. So stay tuned, come right back and you'll see Elsie Trawick, Freddy Gonzalez do what they do best. And that's to get everyone out there in shape and how to prepare best before the holidays attack us because they're approaching quickly. So don't go away, we'll be right back. And remember, with GoTerran Health and Fitness, it's your time, it's your investment, it's your life. We'll see you in a second. Freddie Gonzalez, and you are two of uh, the absolute best people I know. You're my two favorite guests, and uh, Elsie and Freddie, thank you so much for being on today. Well, thanks for having us. It's my pleasure. Oh, that's thank great. You. Well, no, yeah, the pleasure's all mine, and uh, again, you both are so knowledgeable, and your expertise on all the topics we always talk about is just phenomenal. So, Elsie, again, back to you uh, to start with. Can you please... Um, kind of introduce us to the topic at hand of the preparing for the holidays, so to speak. Oh, gosh, yes. Today is we're going to talk about maintain, don't gain, how to survive the holidays with your health goals intact. Good. And that's a biggie because we got a lot. We've got Thanksgiving. We're just coming off of Halloween. We've got Thanksgiving. And the time between Thanksgiving and Christmas, a lot of people say, woohoo, no holes barred because they want to bake cookies. They give cookies. They go to cookie parties. They're going to cocktail parties. They're out with their friends. They're, they're eating a lot. And there's a lot on display. Plus, a lot of people give food as gifts. So there's a lot of temptation out there. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Freddie, uh, what's your thoughts on that? Uh, like Elsie was just saying, kind of post-Halloween, pre-Turkey, pre-Thanksgiving, all the holiday parties. Do you partake in that as well? Well, I, I just kind of... Uh, a, I'm not cancel these festivities because it's very consumist, consumist, you know, like it's all about buying and consuming. Uh, but I try to keep away from that because every day I celebrate. So I try to tell people like every day is a celebration, but those kind of festi festivities happen every year, you know, mm -hmm. through the year is for Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's Day, and it's instead of praising that togetherness and community, we just falling into the consumism uh, and the overeating and the overstressing and buying. So my point is just kind of encourage people to just be present and enjoy that community without overpassing the, you know, the extra um, eating and whatever is, is putting on the table. Yeah, yeah, no, that's good. That's good. And back to you, LC, kind of thoughts on that. Well, I think that's a wonderful philosophy to bring up and to share in our conversation today, because I totally agree with Freddie. It's, yeah. you know, live in the present, live in the now, live each oh, yeah. day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but for a lot of us, we get really caught up in the season, especially being in these strange years of pandemic, where being connected to your friends 
is is critically important to your mental health. Having connection, community, things on the calendar that you can plan and you know you're going to be out and about or with your friends in a safe environment Mm -hmm. is really right now even more beneficial as we go into the holidays because the holidays are not positive for everyone. The holidays also drag up a lot of negative feelings, old wounds and hurts. Not everybody loves being around their family. Mm -hmm. Not everyone can take their family in large quantities. So it, the, the holidays can be joyful and happy, but they can also be painful for some people. So we've, Keeping that in mind and going back to what Freddie said, taking joy in every day, looking at the for the good in every day, looking for those connections every day are is critical. And sometimes it's not that easy to do that. So we need yeah. to be mindful of those things. One thing I like to think of is this, a couple of years ago, I did my first Maintain, Don't Gain, Survive the Holidays with Your Health Goals Intact presentation. And I came up with the four P's of staying fit and lean during the holidays. The first one is positive attitude. You know, think happy, be happy. Take each day as it comes. But again, each day doesn't always like today it's dark and gloomy outside i could go to that space of oh man the sun's not out it's dark it's cold it's chilly it's like oh gosh but actually i'm having a great day and I'm, my spirits are up because i'm choosing that which leads to my next p which is personal choice hmm. it's up to us embrace your health goals embrace your attitude embrace your own thoughts you know reconnect with your why why are you pursuing certain health goals if you're trying to lose weight why are you trying to lose weight what's your why reconnect with that why every day post it post your list of whys up on the wall so that you can see them every day Uh, the third one is plan planning is key know your schedule know who you're connecting with where you're going You know, what is the event? Are you taking a dish? You know, plan, know your schedule. And the third one is prepare. Prepare. If you're going to go to a couple of cocktail parties and you know there's not going to be much you to eat, pack a safety snack pack in a cooler. Make sure you stay hydrated. Drink your water before and after you're going to an event. Again, connect with your why. So those are four, the four P's, positive attitude, personal choice, plan and prepare that will help you stay on track during the holidays. Wow, I love it. Uh, Freddie, what's your thoughts? Uh, That that seems like it aligns with a lot of what you tell your clients, the way you coach your clients as well, too. Yeah, that's amazing. Thank you for providing that wise and for uh, uh, this all knowledgeable. Uh, Uh Uh-huh. I'm going to tap into the mental health that you were mm-hmm. announced before because it's so important to have a community yeah. and mm-hmm. be yeah. around human beings and touching and uh, hugging uh, is so primal, I think. Mm-hmm. And the rest is just part of the living. So you said it's a choice. You have a choice always because if you don't have a choice, you don't have freedom. So the point is like the choice to be happy or being in a different state of mind. So it's going to rule the rest of your day, life, whatever you're going to plan in the future, right? So I think that's that's very important to, uh, to take uh, for the mental health and being uh, free, uh, uh, f- having free will. And then um, uh, when you attend to the parties or the events, that's uh, another point that you took uh, um, that you, if you don't want to participate in that feast, you should have your own little bag of whatever is nourishing you, you know, without mm-hmm. harming <laughs> harm yourself with a lot of sugar. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of, 
fast food bring into the table. So that's a great idea to have your own snack or meal. And uh, and this is your personal choice, of course. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, very good, Freddie. Back to you, Elsie. I guess, um, you know, kind of continuing on in that thought process there and people are struggling, what else is there to kind of, you know, keep in mind and keep them on track? Well, it, it, I mean, the holidays are special and uh, no one wants to take away. We all want to participate, like putting up lights, decorating yeah. the house. Uh huh being in with in, with your community like i know i've planned a couple of events at my own home and uh -huh. consciously thinking of okay i have several friends i know that are not going to come into my house so this year i'm decorating my garage you know i'm putting up a, a one of those collapsible six foot tables just got a tablecloth for it so mm -hmm. that I can have people over and they're not because I know they're not going to want to come in my house because of COVID. So mm. I want to have a safe space for them. But mm. planning that makes me happy. But also considering that I have friends who don't drink alcohol. So making sure I've got non-alcoholic beverages of choice to, to offer. Um, I myself don't like to binge on a lot of sugar and sugar is my demon and I love it. But <laughs> being aware of having healthy snacks, having raw vegetables, having some fresh fruit um, that so that people can have a choice. So if you're planning to have people over, it's making your home or your environment acceptable to those people who don't drink, aren't going to eat cakes and snacks and cookies all the time. But if you're going to event too, and you're asked to bring a dish, take a healthy dish. Hmm. You know, take something, take a big green salad, take mm -hmm. something that um, is a marinated grilled vegetables, take something healthy that you know you can eat too. And, uh, and remember that this is a special time, and it goes back to what Freddie said in the very beginning. Remember your why. Connect with your why for the season. You know, mm -hmm. my why this year for my holiday season is community, to be in my community and to be celebrating and to be in the present with my community. So it's to share uh, love, laughter, you know, enjoyment with each other and get get down and center yourself. And what do you, you know, maybe even make a list. What do I want to give to others this holiday? What do I want to do for someone else? Maybe a list of creating a list of things you can do, like volunteer at the food bank, um, pull a um, couple of angels off the angel tree, find some things that not only that nourish our soul and our spiritual well-being, not just uh, con consumerism and not just consuming a lot of sweets and sugar. So tapping into that higher element of self. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you, Elsie and Freddie, you both mentioned uh, the topic of kind of consumerism. Would you both uh, agree that maybe our country, we're kind of guilty of it as Americans. We do kind of overconsume when compared to the other countries out there. I don't necessarily think we overconsume any more than any other country. I think that the... Uh, uh, the the free market system, the you know people want the economy to do well. They the, the a lot of the uh, big stores depend on this season from November to the end of the year to mm. to meet their budgets. So there are a lot of driving factors into the gift giving um, and oh, what do you want for Christmas? So I think it's it's we that's been drilled into our brain since we were little kids, and it takes each person to decide how what what spiritual or higher self elements they want to bring into the season. And uh, I, I've heard a lot of stores are stopping their Black Friday sales the day after Thanksgiving, and they've already started them at the beginning of November for online shoppers. And in this time of pandemic, when people don't necessarily want to be out in the stores with everybody, 
So I, I don't know if there's any way, and I, I think it might take somebody a lot smarter than me to how we can get away from the consumerism. I think that's a decision each person needs to make on their own as to what what they really want out of the holidays. Like I said, this year, my word for the holidays is community, engaging with my community. Mm, that's good. What, yeah. What's your thoughts on that, Freddie? Well, I'm going to take on <clears throat> the in your garage and make it more open to everybody else, you know, like you have. You have friends that they are not in the same kind of um, state of mind, you know, like they are vegan, they are, uh, has full allergies, whatever. So it's, I think it's very considerate to have many choices on the table. So it's, and it's nice, you know, to, to get everybody into the community. So it's inclusive. Um, and then you take the um, holding the space holding the space for your beloveds, you know, for your friends, closest friends is so important because they trust you and this honest from you as a host, just kind of holding the space for everybody else and they safe. So this is really nice. And, uh, and about the con cons consuming, uh, I, I think it's, um, it's changing the mentality of people in general all around the country, I think it's not just the United States, but um, I think it's more uh, changing the culture and the, the, the fact that you're going to save more or, or the question that you ask, why I am spending into these specific items if it's the not serving me anymore, you know? So you have to ask yourself, it, why I buying this? Is that nourishing me? Is that makes me happy? It does really serve me. <clears throat> so I think that you, as you say, you have to kind of um, get in the balance. In nowadays, so you don't need much. I think simple minimalism is the key to mm -hmm. a better life, you know, uh, simple. Earthy, natural, organic, done. I think you good to go. Mm, mm, yeah, very, very good. Mondo theory. Does this spark joy? <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> it's a fact. It's a fact. Very, very true. You, you hear a lot of people. I'm sure both of you, uh, you know, have heard people say how they don't like to exercise or work out because it's boring or they just uh, can't commit to it. So. Uh, what's your thoughts on that, that it, those people that it doesn't bring them joy or they don't have fun with it? What, what's kind of the workarounds on those for both of y'all? Well, maybe they're not doing the right exercise. Maybe the right exercise for them. Mm -hmm. Finding something that they do enjoy. Try mm -hmm. try multiple things. You know, if, if, if weightlifting doesn't in your thing, maybe getting out and having taking an hour walk every day out in nature is more yeah. of a thing. Yeah, or uh, joining a group exercise program where yeah. you're moving, dancing. You know, there's there's all kinds of exer forms of exercise. Yeah. So don't stop with one and feel like the only way to go. Keep going yeah. for different things. Hey, oh, oh, this is Ben. Ben, uh, it's Freddie from the gym and Elsie. Uh, you yeah, that's Ben from the Family Life Center. So you, you recognize Ben. <laughs> Good seeing you. That's your doggy. Yeah, we all the time. Oh, it's cute. What's its name? Sawyer. Sawyer. Can you guys see Sawyer? Yeah. <laughs> Fourteen. Wow. Fourteen years old, uh, almost. <laughs> Good seeing you, Ben. Yeah, absolutely. We're talking about working out and exercise right now on the vlog. So you're a good example right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Keep it up. <laughs> no, that's uh, that, so. Uh, you both might. Well, actually, no. Uh, Freddie, you recognize uh, Ben from the gym. Well, there you go. So that's a good example. You know. Yeah, I was just gonna say. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh oh, did we lose Freddie? Oh, there he goes. Yeah, continue on, Freddie. That you're right. Good example. So it's a it's, it's a motivation. He got a dog, so he's already walking. Good so right, he, yeah. he was meant to be 
movers. So we have right. to move in any way. So I think right. walk is a primal movement that you all have to do every day. At That's least, right. yes, it, it's, 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 a, it's a must. You have to walk, it's free. You go yep. to the park, you go to the mall. I mean, like depends the distance or whatever, but it's really therapeutic to just be outside and breathe fresh air. And yeah. with, your dog or with your loved ones, uh, whoever is aside, you just, it's more entertaining when you're talking and walking at the same time. Sometimes you don't need to talk, it's just meditate. It's a part of the active meditation. Yeah, so yeah. It's a must for everybody. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, classic example. And Elsa, you're a big uh, pet um, lover, of course, and, and I love dogs and cats. So you can cover yeah. Freddie's yeah. thoughts there too. My two girls are senior girls, so we don't walk like we used to, but I still get out and, uh, but I take them for their walk and then I usually uh, power walk after I drop them back at the house. Because walking is big for me, being out in nature, that's one of my, it's like a meditation for me because I can just, yeah lose myself and my thoughts. I solve a lot of problems. I work on content for my business. So it, it's, it's beneficial to be out and to be physically active. And back to what Freddie said, we're not meant to be sedentary. We're meant right. to be up moving. Yeah, very so true. It's really, no. it's really important. But if, if one exercise you try doesn't strike your fancy, then go to another, try another. And it could mm -hmm. be like if group exercise isn't your thing, maybe you need to hire a personal trainer and work mm -hmm. out individually. So there are lots of things that people can try to find what works for them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, no, that's, that's a good point. So like you said, it's not everybody enjoying much uh -huh. to, to certain, uh, I call uh, activities, you know, like uh, during the day, even though if you can uh, just like sweep the floor, mm -hmm. it's an activity and you're still moving, you know, uh, wash the dishes, um, I don't know, just making the bed, it requires some kind of effort, you know, mm -hmm. so when yeah. you accomplish that in the morning, so your day is going to be amazing because you already have everything set, Yeah. so you want to and you see, you're not gonna see anything messy. It's already clean and pristine. So your mind is all about just kind of mindset, and is everything is gonna be just you know flow, flowing, and that transitioning. You know, I think it's harmony. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's powerful. Um, very good, Elsie. Back to you. Any kind of, um, I guess, as we're wrapping up here and getting towards the end, final thoughts or. Uh, any key points you want to reiterate and hit on um, as we're well, uh, coming excuse, to the end? Oh, sneeze. Oh, Woo, sorry about that. Oh, um, you're fine. You're okay. I think just be aware. Going mm -hmm. back to Freddie's point, be aware. If yeah. you know, this is a joyous, happy time. I love Christmas. I love Thanksgiving, and I love Christmas. And I really enjoy getting out my decorations. Yeah putting stringing lights all around that just makes me happy so do things that make you happy but especially if you're on a wellness plan if you are struggling with your weight and you want to keep you want to sustain the weight loss you've got reconnect to your why every day write them write your why's down write your i am statements i am confident i am happy I am going to stay the course, you know. I'm a lean, mean, eating machine, you know. Focus on my green veggies, you know. Keep those things in front of you so that you can have them to look at every day. And when the, the think instead of trying to lose weight during the holidays, to maintain, to keep your weight stable, to keep mm -hmm. your attitude stable, Go back to planning, preparing, remember it's your personal choice and a positive attitude. All of those things we can control. So focus on the things that you actually can control that make you feel good and reconnect with your why. 
Very, very good. And Freddie, same question to you too. Um, any kind of concluding thoughts on your end? Yeah, I think uh, positive thinking is a key and it's contagious because if you are around your friends, your loved ones or any community is you're going to kind of shine that out of you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and everybody's going to see and perceive, mm -hmm. oh, this is joke on your spirit and it, they're going to get into that body of joyfulness. Yeah. So, yeah, and that and then um, just keep yourself busy. I think uh, being busy in many ways uh, is going to keep you uh, really um, out of trouble. <laughs> like <laughs> all the best habits, you know, because you, you develop habits during uh, uh, this year, uh, and maybe eating better, exercise, uh, uh, being in communities, or just explore new things, be mm. curious. So that that's gonna get you a better life. Wow, very well said, both of you. Um, you both uh, are just incredible. Seriously, uh, you know how amazing I think you both are. I just uh, love uh, everything you said and. Uh, this was such a wonderful topic. Um, if we got a couple minutes here, though, before we let you um, leave, uh, Elsie, back to you. Can you go ahead and uh, plug any kind of programs, events you've got upcoming, and uh, any ways people can find out more about Elsie Traerick Wellness, please? Yes, you. I do. I am hosting a uh, Maintain, Don't Gain, Survive the Holidays Facebook Live on Wednesday, November 17th at 7 p.m. You can reach out to me via Facebook um, or call, uh, text 404-788-1610 for more information. So I'm looking forward to a big group and looking forward to talking about how to stay, stay the course during the holidays. Uh, then I'm also going to be doing a second live either the first or second week of December. So this will be part one on the 17th. And then in December, we'll have part two just to give people a place to come and share and talk about how well they're doing and how uh, and give more tips and tricks um, to survive the holidays and stay the course. And I'm hoping to have a couple of recipes. I've got to work on that. So we'll see. But they people can reach me through Facebook. My Facebook, uh, I have two. I have my Elsie Trawick wellness site, also at Elsie Trawick. And let's see, uh, you can call me at 404-788-1610. Great, Elsie. And Freddie, um, same to you, please. Um, how can people learn more about the movement specialists? <laughs> well, uh, you know, I'm always everywhere. And I do more like uh, group exercise and personal and life coaching and one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and then uh, my website is still under construction, but you can reach me out there, fitperu.net, and all information is there. So, and you can find me here. And now it's changing community wellness center instead of family life center, which is great. It's community. Oh, that's, that's kind of what we're talking about just now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's they, ironic. Yeah. So that's amazing. It's, it's more. Um, Unifying, you know, more welcome. Oh, interesting, huh? Well, that's that's very very well. How appropriate uh, as we end our video blog uh, that that's the new name. So uh, I like it. Uh, that's great, both of y'all. Uh, well, again, thank you so much. This thirty minutes just flew by too fast, and I uh, love doing these. And um, let's get another one of these next month before uh, Christmas. So um, until then, have a wonderful November, you both. Happy November. I'll see you. Thank you. Thank you.